We all know how powerful propaganda can be in shaping what we believe and how we see the world, but have you ever wondered who pioneered the art of shaping public opinion in America? This is Edward Bernays, or Edward Louis Bernays, the mastermind behind some of history's most influential propaganda campaigns. Bernays played a pivotal role in shaping American perceptions from manipulating consumer behavior to influence political outcomes. But how did his work impact the course of American history? Edward Bernays was a pivotal figure in American history, often credited as the father of modern public relations. In addition, Bernays recognized the power of influencing public opinion through strategic communication. Motivated by a desire to shape societal behavior for what he perceived perceived as the greater good, Bernays believed in the controlled manipulation of the masses. He saw propaganda as a tool to guide public perceptions and actions, ultimately aiming to create a more harmonious and prosperous society. Bernays' influence extended beyond mere marketing strategies. He played a significant role in shaping American politics and business. By harnessing the power of propaganda, Bernays helped shape the public image of politicians like President Coolidge, transforming perceptions and garnering support. Moreover, he recognized the potential of consumer propaganda to drive economic growth and societal change. Under Bernays' guidance, there was a notable shift towards consumer propaganda propaganda, marking the birth of a new industry in America. This shift revolutionized advertising and marketing practices, creating campaigns aimed at motivating consumers to buy more. Bernays' campaigns were not just about selling products, they were about shaping attitudes, behaviors, and even political ideologies. One notable example of Bernays' influence on American politics was his work with President Coolidge. Coolidge was seen as dull and unrelatable, but Bernays organized events like a pancake breakfast at the White House, showcasing the president in a more engaging light. Through strategic communication and publicity stunts, Bernays successfully transformed Coolidge's public image highlighting the power of propaganda in shaping political perceptions. But what about Bernays' role during the Great Depression? During this chaotic period, Bernays played a significant role in shaping public perception of the economic crisis. His propaganda campaigns influenced President Hoover's response to the downturn, emphasizing optimism and encouraging Americans to invest in the stock market. Bernays' influence on public opinion regarding the stock market and investment was profound. Through strategic communication and propaganda, he promoted the idea that owning stocks was key to the American dream, leading to a surge in stock purchases. However, this manipulation affected working-class Americans, who suffered significant losses when the stock market crashed. President Roosevelt's approach to government intervention differed from Hoover's as he advocated for more active intervention to address the economic crisis. Despite Bernays' opposition to FDR's policies, Roosevelt's New Deal focused on providing relief to the unemployed and stimulating the economy through government programs. Bernays continued influencing public opinion during Roosevelt's presidency, opposing FDR's policies and advocating for a laissez-faire approach. Despite his opposition, Roosevelt's policies proved more effective in addressing the challenges of the Great Depression, highlighting the limitations of Bernays' propaganda tactics in shaping public policy. Now, what did Roosevelt's implementation of the New Deal really mean during the Great Depression? Roosevelt's New Deal focused on providing relief and reform to address the economic crisis, aiming to stimulate the economy and protect workers' rights. However, corporate interests opposed Roosevelt's policies and collaborated with Bernays to undermine the New Deal. Bernays also played a key role in CID, the National Association of Manufacturers, a lobbying group that aimed to promote corporate interests and oppose government economic intervention. Using propaganda campaigns orchestrated by Bernays, corporations launched attacks against the New Deal and labor rights, portraying them as threats to free enterprise and individual liberty. Hollywood also played a significant role in disseminating anti-New Deal propaganda, producing films that depicted FDR as a power-hungry autocrat. 
Despite corporate resistance and propaganda, FDR responded by defending his policies and advocating for the interests of the working class. He used his platform to counter the stories Bernays and corporate interests propagated, highlighting the importance of government intervention in addressing economic inequality and promoting social welfare. If you're still in a haze, have you heard about the United Fruit Company's influence in Guatemala? This multinational corporation wielded immense power in the country, controlling the banana trade and governing through proxy dictatorships. In collaboration with United Fruit, Bernays played a crucial role in promoting bananas as a healthy and desirable fruit in the American market while concealing the company's oppressive tactics in Guatemala. Meanwhile, in Guatemala, President Arbenz embarked on democratic reforms, aiming to address social inequality and redistribute land to indigenous farmers. However, these reforms Reforms threatened United Fruit's interests, leading to Bernays' collaboration with the CIA to manipulate public opinion and orchestrate the overthrow of President Arbenz. Operation PB Success, orchestrated by the CIA with Bernays' assistance, resulted in the ousting of President Arbenz and the installation of a pro-American regime. The CIA utilized propaganda and psychological warfare to convince Guatemalans of their defeat. Meanwhile, Bernays played a a crucial role in shaping the global narrative and justifying the coup to the international community. This collaboration between United Fruit, Bernays and the CIA highlights the complex interplay between corporate interests, propaganda and political intervention in shaping the course of history in Guatemala. Fast forward to the Cold War, did you know about the rise of anti-communist sentiment in America? As tensions escalated between the United States and the Soviet Union, fear of communism spread rapidly throughout American society. It was said that Bernays collaborated with President Eisenhower to manipulate public fear. He utilized propaganda to justify military interventions and government policies aimed at countering the perceived Received communist threat. Bernays played a critical role in creating a narrative of fear and paranoia, portraying communism as an existential threat to American democracy and national security. He instilled a sense of urgency and vigilance among the American public through strategic communication and propaganda campaigns, emphasizing the need for aggressive action to confront the communist menace. The impact of propaganda on American perceptions of communism and national security was profound. Bernays' efforts to weaponize fear contributed to a climate of suspicion and mistrust, leading to widespread support for military interventions and government surveillance measures. However, the consequences of weaponizing fear for democracy and civil liberties were significant as it eroded public trust in government institutions and undermined fundamental freedoms. So, where is Bernays' legacy in today's society? His propaganda techniques continue to have a lasting impact on American society, shaping public opinion and political discourse. In the digital age, propaganda has evolved, leveraging social media and online platforms to influence public perception more effectively than ever before. The importance of media literacy and critical thinking in combating propaganda cannot be overstated. With the proliferation of misinformation and fake news, people must be vigilant in questioning questioning the information they consume and verifying its sources. Examples of modern propaganda are everywhere around us, from political ads to viral social media campaigns. These propaganda efforts often distort the truth and manipulate emotions to sway public opinion, further polarizing political discourse and undermining trust in democratic institutions. There is a pressing need for transparency and accountability in government and corporate communications to counteract the influence of propaganda. Without transparency, propaganda Propaganda can flourish, eroding public trust and distorting reality. The ongoing struggle to maintain a democratic society in the face of propaganda and misinformation highlights the challenges of preserving freedom of speech and promoting informed civic engagement. So, how can we contribute to a more informed and democratic society in the face of pervasive propaganda?